Hey guys, what's up? My name is Brian Olivas. I'm with ResinWorks. And today we're going to be grinding this floor to prep it for epoxy. We're going to make this ugly cement floor look beautiful. Um, these are some of the machines that we're going to be using. It's a HTC 450 floor grinder connected to an ACC vacuum. Um, so this vacuum, since we're indoors grinding with the concrete, uh, this vacuum is going to keep the dust down to a minimum. So here we are grinding the concrete. We are opening up all the pores in the concrete to get a nice mechanical bond for our epoxy. Um, it's very important you go slow and take your time. You don't want to miss any spots. It's also important to use an ear protection because these machines are loud and you want to get as close as you can to all the walls and pillars to make sure you don't miss any spots. This is what the floor looks like after it's finished. It's all prepped and ready to go. Hey guys, so yesterday we grinded the whole floor. Um, we did all the rooms, the bathroom. We vacuumed everything multiple times, swept it, uh, used a blower uh, just to get all the dust out. Because even if you clean it, it blows dust up in there and it wants to settle again. So you want to really get the floors as clean as possible before you start putting down any material. And uh, now we're ready to go. So now we are getting ready to do a little bit of hand grinding, just in the areas where the, the bigger floor grinder couldn't get or wasn't able to grind. Um, little plants here and there on the concrete, so we'll get those all prepped up with the hand grinder. We'll do some patching with um, some all-purpose Bondo. Um, there are a lot of different products you could use for crack filling and lines and stuff like that. It's just your preference. Then we're getting our rollers ready for the sealer. So today we're going to be putting this vapor barrier on the concrete. This is going to keep all the gases and moisture and air coming through the, the concrete before we put our epoxy down. So now we're dumping our concrete sealer uh, vapor barrier on the concrete and rolling it out. I like to cross roll um, all my products I put on the floor just to make sure that the product gets in every crevice and pore of the concrete. That way it gets a proper seal and no air or moisture is going to get through. Um, so take your time, cross roll both ways, make sure the product gets everywhere. So this is what the floor will look like after you have put down your, your vapor barrier or your concrete sealer. Depending on the product you use, it'll be a different color, but most of the time they do dry clear. That way you can see if you've missed any spots in the concrete. Hey guys, so it's day three here on this floor project. Um, yesterday we completely sealed it with two seal coats, one clear, one white. Just because we're doing a white floor, we want to give it a white base so nothing's transparent. We mix up all of our epoxy with our pigments and uh, now we're going to do our first pour. So here we're mixing up our product we got from the epoxy resin store. We are also putting on our spike shoes that gives us the ability to walk on the epoxy at all times if we need to fix anything. And when we're pouring, we use trowels with notches to spread the epoxy. And with the notches, the epoxy bleeds through and gives it a nice even flow. Then I'll take the roller and go back on and help self-level it. And after it's all nice and level, we will add our highlights and do our designs and how the customer is asked. This is basically what the floor will look like after it's finished and it looks great. So this project took about three or four days from start to finish. Uh, it was a pretty fun project out in San Diego, California. I can't thank the Epoxy Resin Store enough for all their support and they are truly making it easy for me to create these beautiful floors for customers. <laughs>